All the concentrate on building our own as a lab in the land machine and it was modified several times afterwards. But commercially available machines were also purchased to tincture polymer steel, uh, hard metals and titanium. From 2000 to 2008, the uh, own SLM machine was rebuilt by changing the laser source and also a recoating system. And there is a system installed on the machine uh, to observe, to monitor the process, and it's, it's made as a high-speed camera for monitoring and control. In 2005, uh, another uh, purchase of, the, uh, of an SLM machine was done, and it's the concept laser M3 SLM machine. And it was used for uh, the dental framework in titanium alloys and cobalt chromium, and for industrial applications on stainless steel and tool steel. This machine is uh, in the market is the only machine combining a selective laser melting with a subtractive process called selective laser erosion. And recently, there is another uh, company, spin off company called Layerwise. They are specialized in uh, rapid manufacturing and prototyping of metals. Last year, another research project was initiated to process ceramics in the process of selective laser sintering and melting. Here is a list of additive manufacturing methods, and at the University of Leuven, we now only uh, focus on selective laser sintering and melting processes. So I will also keep my uh, keep my talk about. This.